One of the benefits of hosting a show like Oklahoma Gardening is meeting with gardeners of all ages from around the state. Recently, on a trip to Ardmore, Oklahoma, we had the pleasure of spending a delightful July morning with Louise Riott, a very active 84-year-old Oklahoma gardener. Louise shares her years of horticulture knowledge by authoring many nationally known books such as Sleeping with the Sunflower, Roses Love Garlic, and Astrological Gardening. One of her earlier books, Carrots Love Tomatoes, has been translated into seven different languages. Her latest book, In Nature's Hands, gives readers insight into many different organic gardening practices. Most of her day-to-day -day efforts are spent writing a gardening column for a local newspaper, The Daily Ardmore. Louise reflected back to her gardening beginnings. Well, I became interested in gardening a great many years ago. My husband was a graduate of New York State Agricultural College, and we went in pretty heavily for all types of gardening and animal production. We raised milk goats and uh, ducks and chickens and rabbits, and of course we had a big garden and uh, a great deal of our garden refuse, such as the carrot tops and beet tops and things of that nature, were fed to the animals and it all worked out together. And then in turn, the manures from the animals and the stable cleanings were put on the garden to increase productivity. My father was German and the Germans are very big on astrology. And I was the youngest of five children. I had four older brothers and uh, I was the youngest by 10 years, but I was the one who became most interested in gardening and astrology, and uh, that pleased my father a great deal, so he spent a lot of time with me and taught me astrology. The good planting signs, which are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, and the signs under which you cultivate, such as Aries and Leo and Sagittarius, are exceptionally good for harvesting. And the sign of Libra is very good for flowers or plants that bloom, such as black-eyed peas or beans or okra. And the signs that are best for planting in the summertime are Taurus and Capricorn because they make a short, sturdy growth that will stand up well in the heat of summer. In her garden this summer, Louise has also been growing some of the older, tried and true vegetable varieties. My okra variety is called Gold Coast, and it's an heirloom variety that uh, has been in my family for a long, long time, and it is supposedly one of the varieties that came over from Africa. And it has an exceptionally thick wall and it is very, very productive. It, it comes into production very early and it stays very late. It will stay in production until, oh, just the very last twiggle out of the summer. Louise believes that gardening can be a powerful, therapeutic tool for the physically and mentally challenged. My brother came back from the World War somewhat handicapped and very depressed and uh, he was brought back to a, a more responsive attitude through gardening. So uh, when I was writing In Nature's Hands, I discussed this with my editor, Holly McGuire, and we decided that we would include some things in the book that would be helpful to those who were disabled and possibly mentally depressed. Very often attention can be caught by something of that nature, and then attention will uh, be helpful in other things. It was a real treat to finally meet this delightful lady and learn about her experiences in horticulture. Before we close today, I'd like to leave you with a poem that Louise wrote in one of her books. They are words that express feelings shared by gardeners everywhere. We'll see you next week. North, south, east, or west, 
hope springs eternal in the gardener's breast. His dream is something he holds most dear, that this will be the perfect year. Onions will bulb and corn grow tall. The orchard will give a great windfall. He'll have the garden of his dreams, and he falls right in with nature's schemes. We've tickled the earth through countless years, and she's laughed with a harvest through her tears. We've worked with her as she commands and placed our trust in nature's hands.